Excellent. So, uh, Alison, first of all, thanks a lot. And hello, everybody. My name is Buren, VP Product here at Phrase. Alison, could you kindly confirm that my screen is showing what needs to be shown? Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, so let's jump right in. I think let me quickly start uh, with giving you like a quick run through of the suite experience, probably on its highest level, and then we're going to take a, a, a closer look into uh, how the job sync is actually being set up, both for like the manual uh, way and also for the automated version, which obviously makes things much much more easier, especially in continuous localization projects. Yeah. So I'm currently displaying here is like once you're coming from our, our brand new website. That's basically uh, the first uh, sign up login experience that you want to be confronted with. On the lower section, you can see it. We basically got this uh, this new uh, centralized identity management system in place. That basically means, in essence, you only got one account, one user identity that gives you access to everything that we're currently offering. Um, so basically, uh, once you're getting there, you can do so. If you haven't done so, sign up, give it a try. Um, I'm just going to move over here and show you once you've basically signed up uh, and there's like a what we call the so called dashboard of the product suite. It's already highlighting and emphasizing on the two already existing products, which is like on one side, the phrase TMS and then obviously the in phrase strings. Yeah. So in order to basically guide you through how stuff is being set up, let me just jump right in into strings and uh, set it up. If you're not familiar with strings or even uh, the TMS, I can also uh, bring that up and demonstrate this like real quick. So you to some degree get the familiarity. So first of all, and probably before we dive in too much into the details here, uh, let me emphasize once again on, on, on aspects that uh, Ellison already illustrated and, and talked about. I think we put a lot of effort in really unifying the two products and have a consistent brand experience and obviously also UI, UX experience across the two products. It comes with various benefits and definitely helps with the new structure, which is similar in the two products to really navigate and provide guidance to users more strongly than ever before. So on the left side, as you can see, is a completely new designed site navigation bar, which basically gives you access to the most prominent uh, entry points and navigation points that you're probably expecting. Uh, for TMS, that's basically uh, straightforward and hasn't changed dramatically. For strings, it definitely is. We also uh, basically align terminology across the two products. So projects are called projects, jobs, jobs, and so on, so that there is consistency. And I think that definitely helps speed up either you know moving from strings into TMS back and forth, uh, educating and training colleagues and getting familiar with the two products. Um, besides that, we have a brand new uh, header navigation bar, which is basically sticky and gives you access, obviously, to the yeah, most prominent call to actions, like, for example, creating new product. It's got access to search. Uh, it's got like all the notifications showing up, and it gives you access, basically, to your own profile settings, giving you the ability to switch between organizations or even go into profile settings for organizations and obviously also the lockout experience. Yeah. So that being said, um, that's where we are. Uh, definitely much, much easier. We simplified things a lot. And today, what I'm going to do now is basically give you an idea of, of how to work within strings, uh, set up a job, and basically push, uh, push that job over uh, and sync it with the TMS. Uh, go through it, finalize the job, and then bring the content back in. Yeah? So let me open up uh, the job sync demo here. That's basically the one I have for the very uh, for the uh, manual version of it. And I open up here real quick, the project within the brand new strings editor. So what you can see here, obviously, besides also the brand new interface and how it's been structured, it's a very, very simple project, but it's definitely enough to communicate the value and also illustrate of how things are meant to work together. So it's a simple set of four keys. Yeah, you can see it, it's an also a simple, uh, uh, basically one target language project from English source to target German. It's got those four keys and going through it just to illustrate a little bit of the functionality of the new uh, strings editor. It's basically coming with these inline context uh, capabilities of setting character limits of marking and excluding uh, keys from translations and such. Going through it, you can also see that obviously we put a lot of effort into reworking the complete textual sidebar. Uh, we got it completely new structure. It comes with very various features that I'm not able to cover here today. I'm just highlighting some like the new screenshots uh, way stuff is being displayed. So as you can see, 
basically uh, these are things are being set up. It's all in. Now let's get over quickly and, and check what needs to be done on the TMS side in order to get stuff up and running. Yeah. So what we typically want to do then uh, in the manual setup is we would uh, create, first of all, a simple project. That's basically all being set up here already. And down below, you can see uh, I've already managed to import like some jobs through manual. The first thing to really set things up in order to get it all up and running is we would need to go to settings then to integrations and open up the connectors. So connectors, basically, they can give you access to multiple third-party system. In our case, what we typically do is we wanna set up a, uh, a connector uh, between strings and TMS. So the way that is basically being done, I just quickly open up an existing one. It's actually quite simple. The way to set it up, uh, you basically create it on new, give it a name. In this case, I just called it the job sync demo. So it's easily speaks for itself. And then you would go and search for a select a remote folder. So in this case, basically, you basically get access to the phrase strings, set it all up. You can select the ones that are there. Uh, you would need to uh, basically demo also or provide over an access token and access basically to get access and get it up and running. You can test existing ones and maybe just quickly get over here. Maybe just a demo, probably just need to click on it. I just quickly demo how this would look like if we would or to set it up all new. So you would give it a name, select the type of connector. In this case, it's like phrase strings. You basically have specific export modes that uh, in our case are, are, are straightforward. We just basically want the job to mark this completely once done. And here you would paste like an access code. And that's basically a security setting to get things up and running. In our case, we skip this for the time being and basically just assume that the connector is in place. So what now next step needs to be done, you would basically go over and create a new job with all the existing keys. So we can do this from within the editor, which is like new or simply go to the job sections and just say that we wanna create a new job. We're gonna take and go with the job sync demo, the project we just talked about. We can provide like a, a simple briefing here We would then move on and uh, select the keys that we want to be included in the job. We have the source language already selected and then we can select the type of language in our case, that's German, and then we can continue. So basically we're now in a state where the job is ready to go and we would already start the job here. It's a manual work and set up. So in this case, basically it needs to be started. So on the string side of things, uh, the job is actually ready to go. It started. It's now just waiting to be picked up for the TMS. So we can go over here. Just go and select the project where we want uh, the job actually to end up. And here uh, we got the job section within the projects. It's easy. We just click on it. And then we got the opportunity here to click and choose from uh, add a job from online repository. That's just what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna take our job sync demo. That's basically the referring product uh, project that we wanna to get to. And here's like the translation that we just created. Uh, so we're just gonna get it up and say, let's create the job. Let's take a couple of seconds and here we are. It has been created. You can see it, the status is completely new. So the typical deck workflow then would be that you probably want a linguist to open up the job it's gonna show in our card editor and going through it just to quickly demonstrate this. Basically it's showing up uh, stuff like the screenshots, which are basically transferred from strings over. You got key descriptions uh, and, and other relevant data being passed over. So it's actually ready to go and being translated. In this case, we accept the job to step. And then we consider this to be completed since basically it's all being pre-populated with the content that we've been looking for. So now going back, as you can see, the job is there. And now what needs to be done in order to finalize it, because it's done on the TMS side of things, you basically select it and say, download. So typically in other cases, you would probably want to download a file. In our case, we want to export to the online repository. Yeah. 
we give it a try. Okay, it's got X successfully exported. We can see from the message. So we've been going back to strings. I'm switching between tabs. You could also do this by simply just moving over to strings itself. So here we go. We go back to the jobs. We got to see all the jobs translations here. And that's the one we just created. And as you can see, German language keys is all there. And uh, we can open it up here. Maybe just to quickly show this again. And then you edit her. I can walk you through this here. And you can see the German translations found their way into phrase uh, strings. So that's like the full cycle of how stuff works on the manual side of things. There might be situations where this is like the appropriate way of doing it. Uh, typically, and probably best practice uh, um, for any other upcoming projects that you have, especially for the ones which are like continuous in their nature, you want this to happen automatically. So let me open up a second demo a project to illustrate this and just showcase here again. Similar setup, same content, uh, no confusion here. It's quite easy and straightforward. We got the same thing set up here. Um, and we would basically go for a similar approach and just create a job. And this time we're gonna pick the automated demo, provide a briefing here. Okay, add it up, select the keys, move them over. Same procedure as illustrated before, Source language sticks, the, we select for German, and then we can continue. So also in this case, basically the job is already ready to go and waiting to be picked up. Now I'm just gonna flip over here to the TMS and, and just illustrate and explain again. We've got a connector up and running already. That's like the first thing we did. So the next thing uh, uh, you need to set up in order to have like the fully automated workflow in place, you would go to the automatic project creation. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the new version that I'm just gonna uh, show here today. And that's basically the APC. That's completely redesigned and reworked. We did it in such a way that's much, much easier now to interact and, and set up uh, uh, automatic project creations. In this case also here, it's basically a three-step wizard approach. You set up the monitoring, uh, you create an export, and you can also set like some automation settings. The first thing actually to do always is you need to decide on a, on a folder that you want to monitor. In this case, it's basically uh, the, 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 uh, the dedicated project uh, existing in the string side of things called job sync demo and brackets auto. And then you can basically, if you want to set a schedule-based uh, uh, way of monitoring things and can move on. There's like some creation export. It's definitely needed to select if you want to be this like a continuous project to be created, which absolutely makes sense because any upcoming uh, initial and upcoming job, you want to basically be bundled in one single project. So that's what we got set up. You need to select a specific project sample. Uh, that's also like the default kind of things working uh, with a TMS. So once all of this is basically being set up, that's the stuff and, and way you want to do it. You can uh, select this one and let me go over here back to strings. The job is basically uh, uh, ready to go. So we can say like, we start this job has been started. And now we can over and say like, okay, we're gonna check out now. So instead of waiting for five minutes, because obviously we wanna move a little bit faster uh, and uh, for the sake of the demo here, but I can go over to the project. And what you can see here is that's like a, a continuous project that was set up already before. And you can see there's like a new job coming in. Um, basically you create it, you can see it by the status, it's completely new. You go over and then it's like the, the very same procedure again. Now the same steps happening, the same content has been passed over. So nothing new here. We go for the two-step approach, accept the job, complete the job. And now the great stuff is there's nothing that needs to be done on the TMS side. The reason being is that everything is basically pushed back automatically into strings. So what we can do, we can open this one up. And as you can see, German translations all pushed over, job is being done. We can go for jobs. And 
the one we had. Go into it. And in this case, again, go with the new editor. Select the correct language pairs. And here it's showing up. So the very same things again. And, and that's basically a simple run through of how to set things up. Everything is happening automatically. That means like you create jobs, they're automatically being synced. We could replicate this now going on forever, just creating a job in, in strings, start it. It's gonna be pushed over to a GMS. Once being done and completed, it's gonna sync back to strings. So that's be it. And I'm gonna stop presenting and pass it back uh, to Alison to bring up the slides again.